Hello ladies and gentlemen, and this will be a guide or a tutorial on how to port forward Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One. So what you want to do first is go start on your Xbox, open uh, Powered On, then from the main menu you can tab over or use the left joystick over to the left and you'll see a little settings toolbar at the bottom you're going to go all the way down to that go to all settings from there you're going to go to network i believe it's called and then you can go to advanced network setup i believe it's one of the tabs in there anyway you, you'll find it but once you get there, you'll get a page that looks like this and information circled in the red. You might want to take a picture of with your phone or write it or note it down. I don't think you'll need the, the Mac addresses or the wired Mac or whatever, but I mean, you can just take a picture of it or write it down. Don't take a picture of mine on the screen. Take a picture of the one that you have because your information will be different. So once you do that, we'll move to the next step. Also, I forgot to mention that you need to click IP settings and click manual from there. Okay, after you've clicked manual and this will pop up and there'll be four boxes and all of your information will be there. All you have to do is click the menu button to enter all of it and you could make sure it's all there if there are any empty boxes when you're entering through it make sure to fill it in with the information that you wrote down or took a picture of and then we'll move on to the next step now the next step would be to press B to get out of the IP settings and it might ask you to save or some something like that and you'll just press B and save it if it asks you and then you will go into the DNS settings and you will click manual as shown here and after you do that a bunch of the boxes will come up again and you'll just enter all of the information that should already be placed in the boxes if it isn't fill it out from the picture or whatever you wrote down From here on out, I will move to the computer. I'll see you there. So, hi again. I'm on the computer now. And we'll get right into it. So, first, we are going to log into the router by going online and typing the router URL or whatever the router has written on it. Usually they'll have a URL written on it or an address or some sort of thing like that. One typical one would be 192.168.1.1. I think that's for Netgears, but I'm not sure. I have a Netgear and I'm using the one given to me on the back of my Netgear Nighthawk, whatever it's called. But you can look up your router login. Mine is www.routerlogin.net. I'm pretty sure that would work for all Netgears. But I will show you an example of some information that you can find for your, for your router. So I already have Netgear, so just get a get out of that. So you could do for Linksys. All right. Or you could do for whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, you get out of that. Go into your settings here. And you need to find where the port forwarding tab is for Netgear. It's an advanced, advanced setup and port forwarding slash port triggering. 
All right, so I've already added mine here, but I'll show you how to do it for you Netgear users or pretty much any user. There should be very similar processes than this. Um, so the service name really doesn't matter. I named mine Black Ops 3 just so I knew what I was port forwarding. Keep it as a TCP slash UDP. And the start port is 3074 for Black Ops 3. It's on their site as well. This is, I, I think it varies uh, for console, I'm not sure. I would check Activision's site. And the end port is 3075. Also here you would enter the IP address for your Xbox One console that you either took a picture of or wrote down. You'd enter the whole thing in those four boxes and then you would click apply. I've already done this so I clicked cancel. Alright, that's it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.